so as we implemented the stack using dynamic memory allocation we have to also learn how we can implement queue abstract data type queue using dynamic memory allocation so we know how to implement a linked list and you know that uh, dynamic memory allocation means with the linked list concept manipulation of a linked list we can implement stack and queue so today we will discuss how to implement queue using linked list as dynamic memory allocation now well, let me start presentation This is the material we we'll sent you earlier also when we discussed Q using array. Okay, so you know that uh, unlike stack, Q has one extra uh, parameter that is front. So Q has mainly two parameters: front and rear. Front will take care of the element which will be uh, which, which will be uh, there in the queue at the first position and the rear will take care of the element which will be there in the queue in the last position right so always we have to handle we have to manipulate these two parameters front and rear unlike stack uh, but there we uh, we uh, we what with only one parameter that is top, right? So this is known that when we insert an element, the position of the rear is being changed, right? Because Q follows first in, first out. Okay. So when uh, one element will be inserted, that will be inserted last, when the position of the, since the position last position of the uh, element is pointed by rear so rear will take care of it right is the n q so mainly the two operations n q and d q operations we have to uh, study okay now so this is the link list implementation picture diagram so n q means so you just tell me like what i asked you that uh, a customized version of link list program will be used for the stack implementation here also customized version of the link list manipulation program will be used for the manipulation of q so for nq what will be the function which more or less uh, resembles with the link list program could anybody answer which function of link list manipulation resembles with nq function more or less who will answer got my question yes sir which function sir, uh, means add at position in Add at post, we you also told uh, this uh, earlier also, I think. Add at post, no, add at post was for what purpose? In our list manipulation, add at post means apart from the first and last position, we can insert at any position. But if this violates the principle of stack and 
you cannot insert any element at any point sir n q means that an node will be added at the means uh, at the last of a queue so add at end and means our our function create function was for the add at end isn't it create yeah. function in the linked list was for add at end right so isn't it uh -huh. yes sir but we will not here what will be the difference uh between this create function and this nq function you do just what you told that's right but not it will be completely same if you think if you just recall the uh create function or add at end adding a node at the end in single list if you recall you just think that we had to take a loop right so that we can reach up to the end isn't it we took a while yes okay, let me open that program single single link list for the create function means add at end right here we took a while loop while loop while loop isn't it what was the purpose of this loop to take me at the last of the node right end of the list so that i can add a node after the last node right but is it really required for the nq function this loop is required at all what do you think but my point yeah, yes you have four point. nodes in the list in the list so you have to traverse up to the fourth node after that we will go for inserting the new node which is the fifth node So that's why we had to take a loop so long that the arrow next will not be equal to null. We have to keep on traversing, and the moment we will reach at the end, we will have to insert a new node. But is it at all required for the NQ operation? NQ? No, sir. Why not? Sir, because that will be means it will be as in a line like uh, the last person will be at the last. So. it will be getting at the last position only if we uh, keep on know? entering means it means if it is not required means anyhow i have to access the last node instantly i have to access the last node means we are not instantly yes. so always since i told you just now since we have to take care of we have to manipulate two parameters one will for front and other for rear so every time the rear will point to the last node so with the value of rear we can access the last element after that we will be at the new node so we don't have to traverse from the root this 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 no always we will have the information of rear we will write our program in that way so that at any point of time we can access the value of rear isn't it Okay, so okay, the program was right. While creating the queue, we have to take care of it. Okay, uh, uh, so this way, let's uh, see. Let's watch the program. Here, what we did, the same node structure will be there. Yeah. Same NDP here. Oh no, not this one. That queue. Yeah. This is a modified version. I have not completed. I will complete it with interactive uh, way with you, right? Mm. So the same node structure will be there. Same NDP here. I have changed the name uh, in queue. I have given the name in queue in place of create function. Okay, in queue. Since we are, we have to handle the two pointers, front and rear. Front will point the first node, rear will point the last node. So definitely means over in single list we have to only take care of only one variable root, right? 
the rear instead of root, like root, you will be having two parameters, two variables, front and rear, both will be the independent variable. One will point to the front node and another will point to the last node. Are you getting? Yes, sir, getting. Hmm. So always we have to, while creating the node or while inserting a node at you, we will send the two parameters, two individual parameters, front and rear, and another is the for the info part, right? So instead of sending two arguments and create NDPTR star NDPTR int, it was there in the single list, we will send three parameters, NDPTR star front, NDPTR star for rear, and int for the information part, right? That's all with the NQ operation. And the display will be same. And the get note function is to be same and DQ means deletion of the queue. So while deleting the node, what principle will maintain? Hmm? First in first, first in first out, isn't it? Okay. Yes, sir. Anyways, what element do you delete? Front or rear? The front. Front will delete, right? So. We don't need to send the rear. We will delete the front. But it is required. For what purpose? That we will see later. Okay. So this is also the same parameter, front and rear. Is, and it is not required. I, the user will not get any scope to choose which element to delete. Always, it will maintain the principle of the you so always it will delete only the deletion from the first node will be permissible always the first node will be deleted okay from q dq operation so we will not give any scope or to choice to the user front and rear front is in when there is no node in the queue front and rear both are null okay how many nodes, how many elements you want to insert into queue? I have taken this one, this one. So it's just like your, uh, this, uh, for this function, create function, the uh, for function of this as a single list. Info part for each and every node. To X I have taken. I have, I'm sending the parameter, two parameters with this address front and rear because every time this front and rear will be changed. Not every time. When it is the first node, for first time, the value of the front will be changed. Or while inserting, always the value of the rear will be changed. Isn't it? Okay. Initial yes, is null. When will be the when will, when will insert the first node? It will be front and rear both. Okay. So it will not be null. So it is getting changed, right? After that, front will remain unchanged. Always the rear will be changed. Means if after you insert this element, if it is the front, if it's a front, right? After you insert this element, this will be rear. After this, this will be rear. After this, this will be rear. After this, this will be rear. Front will be unchanged, but always the rear will be changed. Uh, means while adding the element, inserting the element into Q, and while deleting the element from Q, rear will be and there will, uh, will be unchanged but value of the font will be changed because we are deleting the elements from front right so always the value of the front will be changed after we delete this one front will be this means 200 after we this one value of the front will be 300 after we delete this value of the front will be 350 after we delete this value of the front will be 450 and that time it will be equal to front and rear okay it will be equal to rear Front and rear will be same. Got it? Yes. Sir. Let's, let's create the Q NQ function. So NQ function. Uh, we will discuss the DQ later. So let me deactivate this one. Uh, let me deactivate the DQ function.
bit more. Okay. So here I have to change this one. I will write what? This is NQ. Okay. I am just modifying that link list version. Kilometer star F star R. Temp, I am creating a node and storing the base address to temp. I am taking the data. Okay. Okay, parallel next is now of okay, fine. Now, if not star R, not star R, if not star F. If not star F means Q is not created. If not star F means front is null. Because I have sent the address ampersand front and that address is got by F. So star F means front, isn't it? So yes, not star F means star F is equal to null. Front is null. First time it will be true. Okay. It will be valid. Now I have to write this star F same. And star R will be what? Tell me, star R will be what? Only one more far. Right. Rear. What will be the rear? Yes. This will be the rear also, na? Only one node is there. Yes, sir. So this will be your rear node. So you can write star R is temp or star R is star F. Temp. Whatever you write. Star R is temp, you can write also. You can write star R is star. Okay. Same and then return. So else is not required because I'm returning from here. When it will not be valid, means when there is at least one node, so we are going to add second node onwards. Okay, we don't need to traverse, so delete this one. Okay. Have to write here. We know the when the first node means this is the first node front and rear also, right? So every time we will we will change the value of here when we are going to insert the temp as second node. We are going to this is our temp, right? This is our temp. We have created this. I have to link with this. Okay. In, I have to insert the element in Q, means I have to link with this chain with the front which is the rear as well at that point of, at this point of time. After we insert, we will change the rear, the rear will have this value, okay? Front will live unchanged, isn't it? Hello, are you getting? Yes sir, yes sir. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. we have to link right so star r star r arrow next will be m What we did? This is our star. R. Star R means this is for, uh, for the second node. This is our front and rear. So star R arrow next means temp. So we have linked this temp with this node, but we have not changed this value of the rear yet. Now we will change after we link. After we establish the link, we have to change the value of rear. Still now. The value of the rear is 100. So, but after we insert this, value of the rear will not be 100 anymore. It will be rather what? This 200 means our temp. Temp is holding this address 200. Okay. According to our picture. So, now star R will be temp. Got it. Yeah. Hello. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understand, sir. 
people do is just like the stack, it will be the customized version of create function. Okay. Search. Now for the third node. Let's now. So it, it is now from it is front, it is rear. We are going to add this third node. So temp is this, right? So this is our temp. So yeah, we know that yeah, we can access the value of the rear font will be unchanged, right? So the same thing we will do. First, we have created then temporary node with this when you are going to when we are going to enter the create the third node. Means when you are going to insert the third node using this, we have to change the name. Change the name. We'll write NQ. Right. Name has been changed. So when we do <coughs> insert the third element, we know we can access the value of the rear, which is currently uh, holding the second position, second node. It is rear. It is same. So we are creating the node again. Like this, temp is get node. Temp power data info. Temp power next is null. Okay. Now, if not star a, but it's true or false, it is false because there is two nodes. There are two nodes in the list in the queue. So, control will come here. Okay. Now, star arrow next is temp. So, we are establishing the link. This link we are establishing. This star arrow, rear star arrow next. This will be your temp. Temp is 300. So, temp star arrow next is temp. Okay. Now again, next we have to change the value of the rear. Now star r will be 10. The same code is valid for the third node also star r. This way we will add the elements in the queue. Okay. Yes. Not valid. Let me delete all these. Okay. We will change this one also later. We will discuss the DQ function later. Okay. Or else maybe I can ask you to write the del DQ function, right? I will not show. If everything I show you, I write the program for you, you will not learn if you don't experience uh, by your own. Have to write the code by your own also. Okay. So now let's uh, run it. Let me let's check. I am modifying the program, so maybe some error I can get. No, no error. Fine. Just wait. Again, I have to. It is quite disturbing. Let me deactivate the antivirus. So it is essential right now. It is uh, disturbing me. Okay. Anyways, hmm. Uh, so let's execute, compile, and run. How many aliens you want to uh, insert in the queue? Let's say five aliens. Okay. Right. Hundred. Hundred. Got it? Huh? Yes, sir. On data has come down. You can also add display print a message is front and rear. You can also print this. I want to I want to print. Okay, you will do this. In the display part, I want this to be the on front and rear. These two words will be there. Will you be able to do this? I have just displayed here. I have just displayed the data. I want that before the first uh, element front will be written and after the last element rear will be written. Okay. Front will point towards the first element and rear will point towards the last element. Got it? And this I want. Yes. This I want.
Is it visible this part this side to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. So I okay, let me change the program a bit. I want here front will be written after that an arrow which will point towards ten, and here an arrow will be there. Rear will be written, girl will be displayed, and arrow will be towards forty. This I need you to yes, write. Sir. Right. So yes. your assignment is this. This you will write to and that DQ function you try to write. Okay, and execute that. Form. Okay. सर ये टक खाता है लिखो खाता है लिखे ये कहने कोड लिखे आवे जमा दी अच्छा ठीक है and if you are not able to run the program then also uh, I want the code from all of you I uh, I want to see that you have tried okay अच्छा ओके ठीक है ठीक है got it any question yes sir Yes, sir. No, no, sir. No. What about others? Anybody has any question? Can ask. So no, sir. The material, you will just modify the code. You will write this code. Copy this. No, sir. Add the code for DQ function. DQ function, and that display a bit of modification will be there. This topic. So submit it uh, within uh, this week Saturday. Saturday six p.m. I will post it in your classroom. Okay. So by this week Saturday you okay. just six p.m. Okay. Fine. Okay. Let's come yes, to the station. Okay. 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 Bye. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank, thank you, you sir. Thank sir. you, ma'am. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Good okay, bye, sir. Bye, 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 sir. Bye, students. Bye, ma'am. Bye.